Oh yeah, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna answer one of your questions, yeah. Which one should I buy? The Canon M5 versus the Canon M100 versus the Canon M6. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so the question that everybody asks, which one should I buy? The Canon M5, M100, or M6? And actually I'm gonna put it into the mix, the M, no, it's the G7X Mark II. So, actually no one really asked what should I buy because the M5 is honestly way too expensive for what it offers. If it offered something like 4K, yes, I would recommend it, but uh, why do you have it been? Because EVF. Yes, I know people, I can add an EVF to the hot shoe mount on here, but I'll lose the hot shoe mount to put a mic on. And no, I'm not gonna put a, a mic on a bracket and put the mic out here, that looks, looks stupid. Nope. <laughs> okay. Tell us so, how you really feel about it. <laughs> let's uh, put the M5 to the side. M100. <clears throat> it has a flip out screen like this. Oh yeah, so you can vlog. It, it, this is actually a really good camera. If you uh, look at my uh, video up there, I have a video of me vlogging this, and I have a playlist too. And it doesn't have a hot shoe mount. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So another question is, like, is there any quality difference between these cameras? No, there's honestly not a big quality difference between these three cameras. Did I say two? I think I just said two. But uh, yeah. I wasn't listening. So Canon M6 right here. This is amazing. <clears throat> this is probably the best deal out of all three. You don't have an EVF like the M5, but you don't need it. You can the, the screen is amazing. You can see it in the sunlight. It's amazing. I just am an old person and like a, you know, a viewfinder. So that's why I have the M5. But yeah, this is the M6. It has a hot shoe mount, a mic input, which the Canon M100 does not have. So if you want to mount an external mic, you have to get at least the Canon M6. Now, one of my biggest trending videos lately is the Canon M100 versus the Canon G7X Mark II. They're around the same price range. If you call $100 or $200 in the same price range, this is $500 depending on where you buy it. And this is like $650 depending on where you buy it. So you guys are probably wondering, like, what is this ginger doing over here with me? <laughs> <Hey> so <man. laughs> That's racist. <laughs> Jeez. So... Dustin over here can give a little input in all three of these cameras since he has used them. He hasn't used the G7X, I don't think. But he has used the M100, the M6, which he owns now. This is not mine anymore. I sold it to him. Oh, yeah. And the Bought M5. That. So, what camera would you buy if you didn't have money? Did have uh, any any issues? Uh, what, what am I trying to say? Any um, monetary uh, limits? There you go. Uh, well, certainly not the Sony HX80. I'm just gonna <laughs> put that in there real quick. Um, I would honestly, I would I would get the the Canon M6. That's that's my go-to right now. That's what I use. I use that all the time. Um, the M100 is great, uh, but it has no hot shoe mic for for a mic and all the attachment stuffs. Um, the M5. It, it's everything the M6 is, just with the viewfinder. That's and overpriced. All right. Canon, why does this camera cost a thousand dollars? It's like two, maybe three hundred dollars more than the M6, and the only thing you really are adding is the uh, the EVF, which is nice, but it's not that nice. I mean, I've had it for what a few days now. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever used the EVF. Honestly, I just kind of yeah. Yeah, the screen is good on both cameras. The only thing, I, one of the other reasons why I did like the M5 <laughs> is because it flips down, and you can use the mic and the the screen at the same time. But then you can't put it on a vlogging tripod. You know how us that's vloggers actually, like. Actually, that's one of the things I did not like about it is um, when I did have it on my little bitty tripod, uh, I could not see the screen because it was flipping down. So I I look at the screen maybe eighty percent of the time, um, but when you do, it's it's in the way of the the tripod. Yeah, the tripod's in the way of the screen. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, see with the, the M6 with the screen flipping up here, this is really nice because I know s most people aren't as uh, picky as I am, but you can mount the can the mic over here and put a mic input yeah. in. Let me go get you the tripod real quick. Tripod? Oh, yeah. He's going to be back. I'm going to start talking to you guys. But, um, yeah, 
the M100 honestly is, if you don't need an external mic, buy this camera. This is a steal for 500 or 550, depending on, like I said, uh, where you find it at. But this has all the quality of either one of these cameras, the M5, the M6. And I mean, it does feel a little more plastic. I mean, that's granted because it's a couple of hundred dollars cheaper, but the quality, you can't really tell the difference. And unless you really need more dials and buttons, this is like the beginner's perfect camera. This is a really good and cheap upgrade from any point of shoot camera if you don't want to spend. I think the M6 is uh, like $7.99 with the lens. And like I said, like that's almost like $1,100. That's so crazy. Are you, are you going to sell the M100 one day? I'm probably going to give it away. A giveaway? Uh-oh. 1,500 subscribers is my, uh, my goal. So when I get there, you know, if you share, like, and share this video and tell people to go subscribe to my channel. I can't talk. <laughs> He'll figure well, it out. Well, I'll give it out. I might actually give two of these out because, I mean, uh, this is pretty much written off already in my books uh, because it's been with me so long. But let me, uh, let me show you guys what I was talking about about this. So we have the tripod on here for 10 year vlogging, and it's blocked. Like, you can't yeah. really, you can't mm -hmm. do anything with it. I mean, you can, you see a little bit of the screen, but not much. It's not worth it. I'm looking at the screen like, oh, don't crack my screen. I'm not going to crack it. I promise. <laughs> I'm not going to so, go, bam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing. One more thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can't really see it in here, but this is a pretty big lens. This is an 11 to 22 millimeter lens. And when you do the vlogging thing down, this is a more of a kind of nitpicking too, like I always do. <laughs> I mean, you can't see the screen. Like, the screen's useless. Unless you, you know, do like the the high pose and look at that. But it's a good reference, but you can't really see yourself. I'm not like you're supposed to be looking at the screen anyway when you vlog. I actually um, got so used to putting a mic on the M6 that mm -hmm. I lost the ability to yep. use the screen. And you get used to it. You really do get used to it. And you can, if you know... You're at 50 millimeters, you know where to put it after a while. So I do see why Sony users stay with Sony and they, they complain about not having the screen. But honestly, when I went back to the, um, went to the M5, I don't really care for the screen, even though it's there. Yeah, that's one thing I did notice is when we, when you strap a microphone or something to it, you can't see the screen. But it's honestly better for me because I'm not looking, I'm not trying to look at the, the, the screen to get a good frame. I'm just focusing on looking at the lens and that's pretty easy. I mean, yeah, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I, I just bought this uh, Canon 6D Mark II, and the flip-out screen to the side is amazing. But I catch myself a lot looking at the screen, which it, it annoys me, and I have to shoot it again. But yeah, guys, I think that's all I have about these three cameras. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, if you need a camera and budget is, you know... Five hundred dollars, M one hundred. It does everything that these two cameras can do, minus the mic inputs. Canon M six. Uh, it's honestly the best deal out of all three of them because you get everything, and it's only uh, it's not like too expensive, and it's like middle of the road. M five. Honestly, um, I think it's overkill. I'm, I'm not sure why. See if the M five had Canon. If you're listening, I'm not sure if you watch my videos, but you know if you do. M5 or whatever the M5 gets replaced with, full frame camera, EF lenses, because the, your EF M lens line is uh, it's cute, small, and but they're kind of garbage compared to uh, what you can offer. I know you can do better, Canon. But yeah, <clears throat> oh, I'm dying. Oh, he's dying. While I hack up a lung. <laughs> okay, guys, like this video if you like it. Leave comments down below if you have any questions or, you know, comments about this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace out. Oh, yeah. Like my hat? EOS Canon. Oh, yeah. Not sponsored. <laughs>